Now, I'm just going to show you how the new setup will look like inside a drawing and quote. Here we have a drawing and I'm just going to add all of the items that you are able to add inside, so you can see how it will look like based on my setup. So know that yours will look like based on your setup, so this will vary based on how you set your items. So here I'm just going to add all of the options I have for the borders. I'm going to add a bump in as well and also a notch here. I'm also going to add a backsplash and a waterfall here, a miter edge and a lamination. I'm also going to change this edge here to appliance and this one to unfinished so you can see how this will look like there. Here I'm going to add different types of cutouts. I'm going to add a sink from my inventory. So this is a product that I'm adding from my inventory. I'm also going to add a cooktop so you can see how the pricing of this cutout will look like. I'm just going to quickly add a few materials. The material part won't interfere with the items. As you saw there under the setup, you don't have any options for the material so the material will remain the same based on your inventory so don't worry about that. I'm just going to place here the materials and the countertop, so we can move to the last phase. Here's where you are able to see how all of these are being charged. As I mentioned the materials will be based on your inventory or the custom slab you've added. Here are the products you added, this cooktop, so this is straight from your inventory and you also added a sink from your inventory as well. The cutout, the charging for these two cutouts, will be here under service and cutout. So I can see both cutouts. The cutout for C1 which is the cooktop, and I can also see the cutout for C0 which is the sink. Okay, so I can see the type of charge if I open my setup. I can see here that the price is 200 for the cutout so is 200 here too, and all of the other items is exactly like you set up. So if I have my backsplash being charged as 50 and if I open here, the backsplash is 50. What I would like you to pay attention is to this charging disabled. So as you can see, all of my finished edges I don't charge for them. So I won't be able to see the finished edge. As you can see here the unfinished is like this, because you can choose if you're going to charge or not. In this case right here you're not charging for this, but if I click here now I'm charging and you can see that it will add up to the total here, so if I don't charge it will subtract. This is because I have this option, so that's why it comes like this, and then you can choose if you want to charge or not. And the ones that you don't charge, with the charge disabled, will not show up here in any case. So if you want this to be charged, you just have to change under setup. But if you don't charge for something, even if you select the item it still won't show up because I set up to disable charging so that is why is not showing up here. And as you can see, the radius, clip, bump out and notch, you can see they are all grouped under fabrication. Because I set this up. As I mentioned before, if I change this from fabrication to a different group, it would just change the name here. So this is what the groups is for, so you can group different types of edges, cutouts or splash and corners under the same topic. Now if you generate a quote, 
you have a few updates that can help you to better understand the system. So as you can see here all the items from the drawing came to the quote. If you want to edit this you can hit here and as you can see you now have this brush. This is basically because as these items came from the drawing. For you to make sure that you want to edit them or if you want to add a new item or if you want to delete an item. We recommend you to open here the drawing and do that straight from there. But if you want to just edit a value here or something like it, you can click on this brush and now you're able to change the items. But as you can see here, we recommend you to open the drawing to do it. And as you can see, you have difference from an item that came from the drawing to an item that you add straight inside the quote. So if I come here and add a faucet like this, as you can see, when I hit save, the faucet will have the trash can and not the brush. These right here means that this item was added straight in quote, it didn't came from the drawing. So if you open your drawing, you won't be able to see this faucet there because you added here inside the quote. And now if you want to make any changes to the drawing, you are able to do that without losing any information from the quote. As we added this faucet straight in the quote, if I go back to the drawing and change something there. For example, if we add a new cut out or if we do any change here, we have these two options. We have the option to update the quote or to overwrite the quote. So if you update the quote, the only thing that is going to happen is that the changes you did here will just update the quote, but it won't erase everything you have there and replace with what you just did. In this case, it will just update based on what you change or based on what you added to the drawing. But if you want to change all of the items, if you want to change everything that you have inside the quote and just use the items you have inside the drawing, you can hit this overwrite. So inside the quote right now, we have all of these listed. But let's say that I came here and then I removed all of this and now I want my quote to look clean. So if I come here and click here update drawing and overwrite quote, as you can see, I won't have any of the other information. Remember the faucet that we previously edit is not here anymore because we didn't have that inside the drawing. And now everything that you see here is what you just added to the drawing and not what you previously had at first. So this is what the overwrite means. The update would have just update the items you have here without erasing everything. So that's why we always ask you in case if you want to add something to this quote or if you want to change any items, we recommend you to do it straight inside the drawing and not from the quote. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions we are always here to help.